we looked at two games and the predictions from this site free super, free super tips and predictions from the Poso model they said that Ireland were going to win and it would be less than three goals and that Ireland would win 1-0 I said that Ireland would win 1-0 and Ireland would win 2-0 since you basically got 6-1, 7-1, those kind of odds and in a way that is the same bet I mean if you bet on Ireland to win and under 3 goals the only two ways that can happen is Ireland to win 1-0 and Ireland to win 2-0 so for this game we were in agreement and we won then there was Georgia Wales here we disagreed so they said both teams would score that Wales would win and both teams would score and the result would be 2-1 They also had Ramsey to score, and I'd also bet on that. Um, but the main th- the focus was on these. Uh, both teams didn't score, so they lost. Both teams didn't score, so they lost both these bets. Um, and the score wasn't 2 1. I backed Wales to win, and you could get better than double your money for that so I got both games right yesterday they got one right and the second one wrong but that's like one day now we're on to day number two I'm looking at two games Bosnia Belgium and Bulgaria France same procedure see what we get so again they're going for both teams to score and a draw what was this Bosnia Belgium I again went to soccer stats this is the Belgium Bosnia group getting the parameters from here so 35 goals in eight games that's about four four and a half i put in the actual number i think but it's not that precise so uh, you want to get the rough number so belgiums are scoring at an incredible rate they do have a world-class attack i mean with lukaku hazard and more their defense is also superb so with these parameters it says a way win of 83 84 percent but you can get better than uh, w money odds to back belgium they're saying well belgium have already qualified um Bosnia are at home etc we'll see so the Poso model is saying both teams to score are is about 41% so you'd want to be paid more than double your money um, for fair value but you're only getting paid uh, 4 to 6 so that's why I'm not going for both teams to score. And again, I'm just applying the possible output. We don't know whether it uh, it agrees with reality or so. I mean, should I pay attention to what the model says? They're going for two all and a draw. 
So, and again, I'm going for Belgium to win. That's a nice bet. I mean, you get more than double your money. Um, do I want to do a correct score? That's interesting because uh, my correct score bet would be really maybe 3-1. 3-1 or 3-0. They're going for 2 all. So, but no, but uh, am I making a call on the score? No, I mean, I, I could, but I, I, I found a good bet. So I'm happy with just going for uh, Belgium to score. That looks very nice. I mean, there's a big disagreement between the market and this model. So again, maybe um, this is being stupid. We'll see. Again, that's the point of this series of videos so that we can apply it to many games and again, then kind of develop a, a sense of how sensible this model is, you know, uh, which games it gets right, what, what things should I listen to, etc. So that's the Belgium game. The French game is interesting. Where'd it go? Is it lower? Yeah, Bulgaria, France. The French game, it says both teams to score, France to win. Now, and uh, four or more goals. This one, I'm going to give a miss. So these are the parameters for the Bulgaria-France. It thinks that France are going to win. But the problem here is that the market also thinks France are going to win. So the odds are like 1.25, which means it's a very... There's no, it's a risky bet. I mean, if I win, I win a very small amount. If I lose, I lose all my bet. So uh, I'm not, I'm not being um, compelled. I'm not being rewarded for the risk. Uh, both teams to score is seen as very low because yes, Bulgaria have a, they tend to score a goal a game, but France have a very good defense. So this is saying no, it's not it's not gonna be both teams to score. I disagree. But this is interesting. Since it mentions here, Bulgaria have had a bizarre campaign, winning all four home games, losing all four away matches. So that means exactly what it said. That Bulgaria are very their home and away form are very different. While the way I'm applying the Poisson model here, I'm, I'm using the total figure. So the Poisson model is blind to the difference between home and away uh, matches. So in that respect, that's a flag. That's a warning sign that probably I like I I I I'm not going to have that much faith in the Poisson model for this game. Therefore, I'm going to now maybe I could have added up the numbers and come up with the home and away uh, numbers instead, but I'm I'm not I'm not going to. So, I'm going to leave this one. My Poisson model is disagreeing it is saying it doesn't expect both teams to score again these are this is paying you more than even so this isn't expecting both teams to score either but it's not compelling so i'll i'll give this one a pass so then we'll see tomorrow how these these, these two games went how did uh, this site do and how did the puzzle model do? See you then.